people, it has to be ruled as a knock on both ways. Because I, I didn't know that it was. Because Tommy Lulaway was Tommy Lulaway was playing the tackle, not playing at the ball. He just put in a fucking brilliant tackle that the whole crowd applauded. The whole crowd were like, "That's a hit." Do you know what I mean? Warrington fans yeah, yeah. like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, we're worried here because he's he's it hit." Austin like that, Austin's down, Wigan have scored and Wigan fans were celebrating because Wigan had scored and it just started to feel a bit fishy when they watched the the 4 4 fifth time and they slowed it down and slowed it down and slowed it down it's just started to feel like he's trying to find a way to rule this out and to me the, the only time that should have happened is if there was a no try sent up because the, the live call was that we think this is alright we think it was a great tackle the ball's been picked up and scored. Well, the, the, yeah. Why not I mean, stay with that live call? Anyway. Well, let, 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 let me put it. Let me just. Let me just. Because because I, I I think it was. I don't. I think it was a blue low eye knock on. Um, in the kind of in the you know the kind of the bing the bash of the kind of the hit and the the contact and the ball coming out. Um, I think child was duty bound to take it up as a try as soon as he decided to to let the play run out right as soon okay. as he'd made that decision he can't he can't then go behind the po- behind the post and say oh i've got i've got no try well, he because can. that well he could but i don't think i don't right. oh, hold hold anyone on. ever saying that yeah but if if Dan Sargent had been tackled by goodwin it would have been play goodwin, on goodwin 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 and then the next play we're going to scored yeah, every and no one would have gone back and analysed that tackle and thought, "Hold on, there's a knock on there." No one would have. No. And we would have watched that tackle over and over again because it set up the position for the try. But no one would have been thinking that play should have been called back for a Wigan scrum. No one no, would I, have. I, I, I well, you I, wouldn't have. No, I, I, I think both things, but both things can can be true, uh, because. <laughs> No, they, they can because because it's that it's that the, the circumstances in terms of the number of times that I'll see something a bit fishy at the play of the ball, or there's a there's a decision yeah. that goes fifty fifty, and you're like, please don't score on this play because they'll, they'll call it back for a, for a, for a video decision. Yeah. You know, the, the number of times you kind of think, oh, if you could just be tackled here and then just just stroll in on the next one, um, because you know that as soon as they get into the the minutiae of of did he touch it? Was 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 that the tackle? Was it? Did it just bounce off his arm? Blah blah blah. You're getting into the. the, the there are chances that it can be well, ruled what you're out. Doing, which is obviously what happened here. Something that takes away from what the game's supposed to be achieving. The game's supposed to be achieving like big hits, exciting moments, highlight real plays. We've lost a highlight real play because of. Because, well, twenty years ago, before HD, you wouldn't have even seen it. <laughs> so, do you know what I mean? It, it well, just we thought video wrong. replays it would have been a but what, 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 I will what, say, what are you going to do? What I will say, to move on slightly from it, is I don't think that's why Wigan lost the game. You know, um, Wigan not finding t- touch from the penalty, Ben Flower making a stupid decision to try and bunny hop the, the man that he'd tackled, like that ever works out in your favour, right underneath the sticks. Yeah. Um, Remain Navarrete's inability to pick up a, a role in rugby league ball, I feel devastated for him, but it just highlights some skill sets are missing from some players. Um, oh yeah, but but, and, but but to me and, on that on that one a half back should have should have been should have been taking that because because it's it's not it's not a forward's job to catch those balls. Oh uh, no, the yeah you're right. The ball had carried had carried. It was a great kick, weren't it, from Blake Austin? The ball yeah, had carried past that card acre, and um, and by the time it landed and and bounced, I guess the players just trusted that Romain Navarrete is good enough to pick up a rugby ball. Uh, unfortunately, he couldn't do it in that occasion. Not, and, no. You know, so that was that. That's the third mistake we've got to, and the fourth mistake was kind of an unfortunate one to criticise as a mistake. But Joe Burgess was maybe half a stride ahead of where he should have been, or or the offload from Gildart was slightly faster than it should have been, or something was just just fractionally off in that play where Joe Burgess could have potentially found himself in a bit of space or at least Wigan would have been in an attacking position with a couple of tackles left right near the end with a minute in the last minute of that game so so there was four errors there that I think Wigan can only put on themselves and the first one of those put us under a lot of pressure 
the second one of those was as a result of all that pressure um and it just it this was one of those games where if sean wayne was our coach i think we would have won this game in those circumstances uh compared to this year's team and i'm not criticizing adrian lamb for this i'm just criticizing this. i'm saying the situation the team are in right now yeah they don't we, have those they don't have those processes down perfectly yeah, we, that we can 2018 wins think. this yeah, yeah definitely i yeah. agree um, so I think but, I mean, that's the... a huge factor. Do you know one other? Can I mention one other thing that I thought was a bit egregious here from the from the refereeing as well? Go on. Um, why was no conversation held about an eight point try on Zach Hardacre's try? Because Zach Hardacre could have milked that and he didn't. He got up and celebrated and then went down again. Uh, had to compose himself. I thought he was never kicking this kick because he's just had someone slide across and put their fucking knee in his fucking head. And, yeah. And and that was not. No one's questioned that. And I don't understand why that wasn't brought up. Because someone need him in the head, uh, Alan. Someone mm. need him in the head. When when was that okay? When was that a duty of fairness to the team, to the players? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, no. That should that... to me. That's the one should that we should be talking about on this Monday. A player getting kneed in the head in the act of scoring a try. That that's that... foul play. Surely. Sorry, re- remind me about that one. Did that did was that one given straight away on the field? As a try? No, it went up to the video ref. Did it go to up to the video? The right. But they just checked the ground in. One look was enough to see that the grounding was fine yeah and i think they never really the video ref wasn't asked to look at the possibility yeah the, the video ref has to be asked to look for an eight point try does don't, don't they? and i yeah. don't think anyone was really considering it either to be honest and maybe even live i might I not have picked up on it it was right down the other end of the pitch so i can't say for sure but on the replay to me it looked like someone needs someone in the head when no, no, the, well yeah he, he, he certainly copped a hit i mean yeah. the, 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 there's, there's no doubt about that i, th- I think there's it, it's that, a difficult to me was one the isn't decision it? against wigan however i go back to my point that wigan lost this game because of their own errors and two sloppy tries one just before half time where maybe that could be que- called into question because zach Hardaker, Appeared to try and kick the ball out of the out of um, the hand of the player, which I, I I think maybe if Jack Hughes hadn't have got it down, there might have been a question about a penalty try, but not an eight point try because it wasn't dangerous play because it was his hand, not his head. So maybe that's where that came about. But the Ryan the Ryan Atkins try was a one on one miss that contributed to that, and yeah. uh, and unfortunately that and. Stefan Ratchford's phenomenal goal kicking. Ratchford and Clark were fantastic. For, yeah, I, for I, 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 I did want to say, um, I did want to say that I thought, um, I thought um, the change of pace that Warrington made in terms of bringing uh, Akawala and Murdoch Masilla on was quite crucial to Clark's try just before half time. Yes, yeah. Uh, to me, to me, that 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 obviously that you know it's it's, it's a crucial try in the in the final reckoning, um, and that that, and that was a Wigan prop forward who'd been on the field three minutes couldn't have the fucking gas to make five yards to make a tackle, but and that's another mistake by Wigan that caused us a cost of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I, I prefer to praise the, the play of Clark. But anyway, um, no, but yeah, right. no, that's just my frustration boiling. Yeah, in. no, no, Clark, I understand. Clark was and, brilliant. Ratchford was brilliant. Akawala made an impact. To be fair, to be fair, I, um, I, you know, just for balance, I, I did see signs of improvement in Wigan in this game. We were um, the better side, I, I thought. I, well, I, I've seen people, you know, people say it's your, um, uh, it was your best game of the year, and I haven't seen all your games, but I, I, I can see why people would think that because you competed with the second best team in the league at their place, and you could easily have won it with with slightly different circumstances. So. Um, you're in a downside better position than Leeds are let's just put it that way yeah so well done to Warrington they, they gritted it out this was a win that told me that you know I've talked about how scared I am about St Helens in recent weeks this is a win that scared me a bit about Warrington because they managed to win a game where um, they weren't necessarily the best team um, o- over the whole over the whole piece but were good enough in the key moments um, the 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 offload in the in goal area by King to Ratchford to get oh, out. Oh yeah, that there. was brilliant. That was fantastic like, um, emergency play. Yeah, fantastic stuff. And and yeah, some of the some of the runs by Clark, some of the 
uh, some of the sweeping lines around the back that Ratchford was able to run to. Yeah, uh, Ratchford was brilliant in this game. I mean, I, I haven't mentioned him at all, but yeah, he was, he was, he was. To be fair, I thought both fullbacks were both really good. Fullbacks. I thought Haddock plays on the pitch. I would say the fullbacks. Yeah, me too. Daryl Clark in that conversation too. Sean O'Loughlin was very good off the bench for for Wigan as well. Yeah. Yeah, um, Wigan unlucky, I would say, in, in, in summary. Yeah, even game, you don't get them all. It's just really gutting when it's a cup game. Okay, yeah, um, on to another fairly even game. The last game we need to talk about. Uh, Huddersfield hosted St. Helens. This one was on TV as well. Uh, it was 12-10 to the visit in St. Helens' side at half time. It finished 22-16 to Saints. 3,533 were there, of, of, of which 2,000 were probably Saints fans. Scott Michalowskis was the referee, and we had a few fan views in, including a new name. We did. So, yeah, Giant City of Huddersfield says, uh, got a few tries, but the worst performance ever from Huddersfield Giants. <laughs> and it's the best performance that St. Helens have ever had. Oh, I don't agree with that. I, 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 don't, I think there's a bit of jo- jokery. I would hope, I'd hope, I'd hope there's a, 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 a tongue firmly in cheek in that one. Mark W said, it's been a while since we committed a full committed to a full 80 minutes so I'm really pleased with the effort especially from the younger players in the second half we couldn't get a penalty for love nor money so it's tough to take especially in the cup but we'll build on it if we can keep this standard up we'll save our season yet uh, Rob says finally an 80 minute performance but of course it had to be against the best in the league <laughs> if we had Jerry playing then it wouldn't have we wouldn't have conceded two of those tries from kicks but having Gaskell back is a huge advantage for us he, he was good um, hopefully we can have another couple of 80 minute performances and stop losing close game close games and St David said phew that is all yeah so- I, 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 I appreciate uh, David's perspective on that one because because there wasn't a lot in this one was there no it was four tries to three um grace farge coot and naguama for the saints coot with three out of six from the boot wardle had two tries and murphy uh, with a great try i thought the the, the inside pass from young uh, one of the senior twins uh, um, to him and then Lewis. the power to, to get over was, was yeah. fantastic uh, so uh, it's almost like he'd been a winger in a former life. <laughs> <laughs> Gaskell two out of three with the boot. So yeah, they 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 always stuck around it the Giants, but they never really felt like they were gonna quite do it. And young Regan Grace just keeps making uh, making it look more and more like he's close to being the finished article. Yeah, yeah, Great Britain squad member without yeah, question. No. More than that I've in there from this Saints side, though. I think he's been phenomenal um, so, yeah. so far this season. Uh, I, I think uh, all all the backs were very involved for, for St. Helens. Uh, and maybe Huddersfield didn't quite get enough out of their, the, the wingers over, over the piece. Um, but they're two young kids, aren't they? Exactly the same youngness. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, that was your big point of difference, wasn't it, in terms of experience? I mean, obviously, um, Rob picked up about, you know, if if you could have had Jerry in the the squad, it would have been a a different mix. Um, But, yeah, I mean, I I have to say I was... um, uh, Actually, mightily impressed with Huddersfield and how they how yeah. they managed to to keep in it. Obviously, uh, Wardle's two tries were were great lines. Oh, fantastic! Um, yeah, yeah, great rolling kind back of the old old uh, Joe, Joe Wardle. Yeah, uh, rolling back the years, even though it hasn't been that long. But uh, but yeah, cutting against the grain and 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 yeah, um, Saints couldn't cope with it. So that's definitely something uh, you don't see many weaknesses. So that's something other teams should uh, should have a look at. Um, For sure. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, because 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 it was you know the, the the situations were slightly different, but the result was the same in terms of in terms of when that cutback came, the forwards that were were crabbing across couldn't couldn't adjust, um, and he kind of went through one touch both times, which is um, slightly worrying for uh, for St Helens. But um, but yeah, uh, do you know what? I actually think this game was better and more tense than it felt like. But the reason it didn't feel like it was twofold. One, the kind of early evening sun dipping down with all the midges flying. <laughs> all that. that was a constant source of distraction when you were watching the close-up shots. And the, and the second point is the small crowd. Now, 
I know the cowbell gets its stick and all of that. And for me, the biggest issue with the cowbell isn't the annoying sound it makes. It's how hollow and empty it makes the rest of the Huddersfield <laughs> Giants support. 